Hey, I'm Aiden Hansen with Umarex. Uh, we're in West Palm Beach, Florida, going down the canals with David Madrid right out there, here hunting yeah. iguanas uh, on basically a depredation hunt out here just to take care of them because they destroy all kinds of things. They destroy yards, you know, animals. Uh, they also get up inside the trees and mess with the with the eggs from the um, native birds. And so what we're doing is, is we travel down the canals. We just kind of stop off and we shoot. Hit him again. Yeah, hit him again. Oh, there you go. Yes, sir. So today I brought out the Walther Rain. I've got the Walther Rain and 25 cal with the Donny FL suppressor uh, on the front of it. And then I got it topped uh, up top here. We're doing a little cam footage so you guys can see what's going on uh, and that'll work from there. So with me, I've got uh, Bubba. And uh, so you've seen him before uh, on some of my videos, but we're, they're also shooting the Gauntlet 2 in 25. And uh, we're just shooting them up close with red dots. And I'm using a one by six today running it down uh, and it works great. So we've just been floating along five miles an hour. It's, it's probably like the best weather you could ever have. And it's just driving along, picking off iguanas. This would be my first iguana trip. And let me tell you, this thing is awesome. I mean, nonstop shooting, whole bunch of fun. I mean, if you come, you better bring a bunch of ammo. This would be the first time I've shot the gauntlet. And I mean, this is probably my favorite air gun. If I came back out, I would be shooting this gun all the time. These iguanas, they fall into some thick stuff. And I mean, you, you grab some alive ones, they'll cut you up. And I mean, they're tough. There we go. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's a beast. Man. That's a team that's a teamwork run right there. Iguanas are like the most difficult thing to spot. You know, Dave's like, oh there's one right there. Well of course yeah. they're green. I'm a little bit colorblind. Looking up at the trees, it's like, where's that? Oh, it's in that green tree right there. So <laughs> we have just laugh. It's like, okay, I see it there. And then all of a sudden you see one. Then you shoot one and then like five more pop out. It's it's crazy. Uh, probably one of the most action packed hunts that I've been on. You're definitely getting plenty of trigger time. And if you don't know your gun when you get here, you'll definitely know it when you leave. You'll know if you're on target or not. There you go. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna grab that one? That's a good Man, the big ones are coming up. It's late. It came up. Hold the, the branches. This is the first time that I've been iguana hunting. And uh, I have to say, like, I, at first I was thinking, like, maybe there's like one or two, we're probably gonna be fighting over iguanas in the boats. There's three of us. You know, maybe if it's just better for one or two. I can tell you it's nonstop. Bring tons of tens. I would say probably bring three, two to three tens a day uh, for shooting purposes. And we're shooting at 25. You can go bigger if you want to. 25 is what we're rolling with today. Uh, it'll take a couple shots, but it is the first time that I've been iguana hunting and yeah. I will definitely be back. I can tell you that. <laughs> Let's go in and get that thing. He's gonna try to get up and go. I mean, that's that's how it goes. Three guns running full speed, try to knock the thing down. That, that iguana is probably that big or bigger. It's big. It's big, let's go get it. That's the biggest one. That's way heavier than the one yesterday, right? Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah. So look at the size of that guy. That is a big one. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's, that's I mean, that's... Yeah. I'm 5'10". That's Nose touching the ground, that's 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. That's 5 feet 5. That's massive. That's Good a job, big, man. that's a big iguana. Good shooting. So out here, you don't have to have a license. Uh, there really isn't a season, but, you know, Florida in the summertime is like crazy, so I don't even... With the humidity levels, I, me, I run from the heat if I possibly can. Uh, I know that I live in Texas, so yeah, of course it's hot there. But you come out here, you, can, you could be hunting these things in January, you know, February, December, November, whatever. About this time of year, it's nice. The weather's nice and cool. You're cruising around. As soon as the sun comes out, the guanas start coming out, and they just fill up the trees. They could be from this big to five or six feet long. They could be massive.